Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you really quick how I made the main motor inside of Squawker's Macaw into a servo so that now you can get reproducible movements via servo controller. I did a video on my main channel showing how to take apart Squawker's, specifically how to get off the fur, and then from there, you'll need to also remove these screws on this shell. So there's a bunch of Phillips head screws, but fairly easy. There's also a few on this side right here. Once you have those off though, you get to Squawker's uh, main internal body. Basically, I have a paper clip and this gear that I pulled out of one of these hand crank flashlights. And what I'm gonna do is feed the paper clip wire through this hole that's for the battery contacts. And the gear is gonna run up against the main drive gear. Basically, there's a corkscrew that goes back behind here can sort of see it. It's attached to the black gear right there and it goes down on a shaft and drives that other gear that you see in the middle of these wheels. And so I'm attaching this wheel or gear onto there so it'll spin when that is spinning. And then I cut a hole in the battery compartment on both plastic shell pieces so that when I put it together, the gear can come up into the compartment. And then I'm gonna attach another gear with a potentiometer on it once it's inside. So this is the most complicated jerry-rigging job I've ever done for a servo. Uh, this gear is connected to the gear below, which I showed you when it was apart. And you can sort of see it sticking up through the plastic there. And then obviously I've cut this out in the battery box so that the secondary gear can fit. The secondary gear is getting torque from the smaller side of the gear that's below them. And then the potentiometer is glued to this side of the gear. And then I glued a rod here to try and support it. It looks a bit shoddy, but it actually works very well. So, since the smaller side of the gear on the other side is reducing speed, I'm able to get it to actually do motions on command. So here's just like the wing flapping. You can get the head movement. Then there's also the side head tilt. It's all pretty complicated. But there you have it. If you have any questions about how I rigged this up, just let me know. I'm happy to explain it. Um, it is nice with the gear arrangement. You're actually able to get the full range of motion out of him. Because on both ends, this contact... So this contact makes... Um, it shorts together once per rotation. So, all the way on the other end of the potentiometer's spectrum for the servo, it makes contact, and then all the way on the other side, it makes contact. So that tells us that it is getting a full entire rotation out of the main gear. So that means we're able to get every single one of Squawker's original combinations now over servo control. So we'll see once I get programming how hard it'll be to actually get 
squawkers to do movements on command, but this is definitely a good start. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. I'm going to be posting videos soon, hopefully showing squawkers fully programmed. I also did a video showing a servo conversion for squawkers head. This conversion I definitely recommend checking out if you're wanting to get squawkers eyes and mouth working because they're both run by the same motor. As far as I know, I'm the first person who successfully gotten it to work off of a secondary system. Anyway, thank you for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.